it's much like anything else, as much like exercise. Hmm. You wouldn't want to go and uh, you know run a marathon on your first day of jogging. Hmm. So instead, it's just better to slowly build up piece by piece by piece. Mm -hmm. um, Sitting meditation is the same way. The second phase you said was just practice, practice, practice. Right. Like there's a there's a kind of familiarizing yourself with the practice mm -hmm. in the sense of uh, I get to running. You know, mm -hmm. you get the shoes, you go for a run, you come back, you feel exhausted, you feel great. The next day, like you got to do it again. Right. And that's often for me anyway. That's the hardest part. The first day is easy. Mm -hmm. The second day is harder. Mm -hmm. Then the third day it gets easier and easier, and then you build a little habit. So the familiarization process is um, is a part of the experience, and it's sort of getting the practice into your body, mm -hmm. um, and uh, and that's, I mean, that's the path that I think that every every meditator is actually on. Mm. You, I don't think you ever actually finish that. So, if we move from, you have this practice. Do you have other practices where that make you not so reactive? So, you know, you're constantly facing stressful situations. You're facing no from investors, difficult board members, customers who won't say yes. Yeah. You know, or things you expected that didn't happen. Yeah. Um, or an employee who didn't quite do what you wanted to do and it was critical. Yeah. And in those times, because the, the stakes seem so high, uh, it's easy to lose perspective, to become reactive. Yeah. To, uh, or even the business is failing and you you take that on as your failure. Yeah. Those kinds of things. Yeah. Are there particular th approaches that you would suggest to people, whether they're meditating or not? One one exercise that my friend Jerry Colonna walked me through mm -hmm. any number of times during the Yes Way years was he he would, I would sort of be going off about how you know this whole thing's broken, it's mm -hmm. never going to work, and he would say, "Stop for a minute. Just tell me what would be the worst thing that would happen." Like, describe to me the worst mm -hmm. possible results of these things. And in a sense, just talking that out mm -hmm. um, puts it all in perspective. Because, you know, people complain about being CEO and say starting a company is really mm -hmm. hard, and it is. But it's nowhere near the hardest job that people do in this society. Mm -hmm. So we are in a very privileged position. Mm -hmm. And just somehow, like, realizing that even if the whole thing blows up, you know, we still have an amazing opportunity and we've been given all this great mm -hmm. chance to build this thing. So I think that that has helped me in the past mm -hmm. put things in perspective. Um, 